Hey guys, so it's the start of a new block and again I have to drive about 3 hours, 200 miles for my surgery rotation. So this rotation should be pretty intense. I am uh, I got cleaned up a little bit. It's probably the cleanest you'll ever see me this block. I'm going to progressively get more and more homeless looking, more and more like a caveman over the next few weeks. So you'll probably see me have like bags under my eyes, just be all scraggly and stuff. But uh, hopefully it should be exciting and should be able to learn a lot. I really hope the surgeons will let me do a lot with like sutures and things like that so I need to brush up on that today. I also need to go through a bunch of OME videos because there's so much information in surgery and a lot of it's just like new stuff in general so I need to go through all of that as much as I can. I think there's like several hours of video so I probably won't be able to get through all of it but I need to get through as many as I can and then come like Monday and the rest of the week I should be able to get a better sense of what departments I'm rotating through and then target my studying more towards that so I can not look like a complete noob in the operating room and get when I'm getting pimped and stuff since surgeons are pretty famous for pimping their students pretty badly. Anyways, making sure I pack up everything. If you guys watched my OBGYN vlog where I actually went to the same hospital, I uh, forgot some stuff and I had to drive like 60 miles back. So this time I did remember to get all of that and hopefully I'll be able to remember to get everything else. So I'll catch you guys probably over there when uh, I arrive. So the Airbnb I was, at was decorated pretty interestingly. The person who owned the house had a career in medical insurance, so she had a lot of medical books up, which is nice. And then she had a pretty successful career, so she visited a lot of places. So you can see a lot of different decorations from like Thailand, from Turkey, from like all over the world where she traveled. One of the nice things about this place was that it has an attached bathroom, and then as I get older, I really like having my own bathroom. A full ceiling to floor mirror, which I'll definitely use for flexing. <laughs> But yeah, happy with the bathroom and the room is pretty good. Okay, so it's the first day of surgery. Running slightly late-ish on time. I don't know, I need to rush over there, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just had a tour of everything. Everyone was super nice, all the doctors were super welcoming, so... It seems like the hours aren't going to be crazy intense so far. I have a little bit of flexibility with what I want to know, like work, especially with like long calls and things like that on the weekends. So, so far it seems like I'll have a lot of experience, mostly through general surgery, but also through other departments. So that should be interesting. Hopefully I get to see a lot of cases. I think they're going to put me in the clinic a lot too, but I'm going to try and see if I can see a lot of cases that are interesting just for fun as well, even though I'm probably going to go to primary care, uh, which they know. I still want to be able to experience and see all that surgery kind of has to offer over these next several weeks. So, so far it's been good. And I actually get a lunch break, so time for lunch. So today was mostly in clinic for surgery. It was pretty surprising. I thought it was just gonna be like all like operating room stuff, maybe seeing patients like a little bit here and there. But I didn't know that they'd have like just like full clinic days. A lot of different small procedures like uh, incisions and drainages for like sebaceous cysts, which were pretty common today actually. I don't know, maybe they just lumped all the sebaceous cysts together in one day. The cysts are basically membranous sacs that hold air, fluid, or other substances. Here's a fluid filled cyst. But for a sebaceous cyst, it's where you have your sebaceous gland, which produces oils that cover your hairs and your skin. It gets clogged by trauma or other things. You basically take a scalpel, cut the cyst open, drain it, and then you see to tie it up. It's a similar procedure if you have an abscess where there's pus that's built up, or even a lipoma where there's a benign fatty tissue growth. They just cut out, you wouldn't drain it, but you'd just resect out of the fatty tissue and sew it back up. So it's a very common procedure done in even in primary care, but also in uh, surgery, especially when it gets more complicated, when it gets deeper, when it gets more massive of a growth. And that's when you have general surgeons, or even plastic surgeons, cut it out. I'm gonna head off to the gym for a quick workout head home and then I got to study like a ton, work on all my suturing since one of the attendings said I need to know pretty much like everything. So at the gym I hit some pull-ups, weighted pull-ups. I did 120 pounds for about three, three and a half reps. And dead stop and the form could be improved a little bit with range of motion, but I think it's actually pretty good overall and excited to hopefully hit three plates in the next year, ideally. I get an emergency Amazon delivery. 
Because I forgot protein. There we go. Amazon come in clutch. Uh, for some reason I've been really hungry. I think maybe because it's so cold right now over here. But I did end up picking up some bars for the hospital just because I tend to, or today I was so hungry I ended up actually buying stuff which I never do. So I ended up getting food and they only had like mostly like junk food and random things like that. So I was like, okay, I can at least carry some protein with me. I usually get the Costco bars, but Costco was closed unfortunately when I got out. So um, I haven't had Quest bars in a really long time. Like actual Quest bars, they usually have the knockoff Costco version. So uh, we'll try this out, see if they've changed. So we'll see if they changed. So consistency is slightly firm, a little bit chewy, and it reminds me of uh, like a fruitish, a fruity flavored vanilla type bar, a little bit like the the Frosted Flake one circle cup things that I actually reviewed, I think a couple of vlogs ago. So if you didn't watch that, shame on you. But yeah, overall a decent bar. Now, sort of within this lymphatic tissue are other lymphatic tissues or clusters called follicles. So this morning was general surgery. We had hernias, which are bread and butter cases of tissues or organs breaking out of the surrounding structures. You can have inguinal hernias, femoral hernias, basically hernias in different areas of your body that are more or less common. Certain things can increase your risk of having hernias. For example, if you're really obese, if you're doing heavy lifting, if you're straining or coughing a lot, if you have underlying disease and you have like ascites, if you have congenital predispositions to hernias or to patent processes vaginalis, for example, like persistent openings in your body. So for the repair process, you basically push back the tissue, you put a mesh in, and then you close it up. So surgery's done pretty quickly, patients are in and out pretty quickly, and everyone's good to go. So just finished gen surge, a couple surgeries, and then so now heading off to ophthalmology. Gonna see some uh, procedures hopefully and some injury cases would be great. So uh, yeah, let's get it. Okay, so I just saw a bunch of dry eye cases and then some temporal artery biopsies, which is interesting. It's just like an office procedure. Uh, they have like a special procedure room, but um, that was fun to see. Uh, since you hear about it in med school, but you don't really see the actual procedures, like uh, operation clinics or anything like that. So that was fun to see. And uh, now my legs are killing me, so I'm just gonna try to like sit down for a little bit. And then, uh, or life, I guess. And then uh, probably head off to the gym. So same routine, hit the gym. Bench day, push day, I thought you guys wouldn't want to see it, so I didn't really record it. Uh, same thing, same same old dinner, salad, chicken, protein shake, and uh, I'm going to watch some OME. Try to prep a little bit for, um, I think I'm on ortho tomorrow, ortho slash podiatry. And podiatry is not in medical school, or like, like a medical school residency, if you guys don't know, so um, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, a lot of MSK stuff. I forgot all like the animations and stuff, so I need to review that. Sorry if it's, it's kind of boring right now, but I'm just super tired and there's like a lot to do and it's like a new rotation and it's surgery, so it's like an intense rotation, but um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe I'll be able to film a little bit more. Okay, so it's day three, ortho and uh, podiatry, I think, so that should be interesting. A lot of sports med things, hopefully, and uh, maybe some trauma, which I'm slightly nervous about, but it should be good. So I recently started eating these popcorners at this hospital, they're about 130 calories, mostly carbs, a little bit of fat, not as good macronutrient ratio wise as the Quest chips, but one of my new favorites, and great snack overall. So in ortho today, the morning was pretty much just clinic, saw a couple different cases like different fractures and a few strains and sprains and light injuries I guess. And in the afternoon we had one major case of Van Ulna that had to be reduced, so that was fun. So the patient basically had fallen down the stairs and broken her ulna, so they needed an ORA for an open reduction internal fixation. It was open because an incision was made and the arm was opened up. It wasn't just manipulated back in place without surgery. It was reduced because you basically had to reapproximate or put the edges of the ulna back together again. And it was internally fixated because they used plates and screws to hold the ulna in. So that was basically an ORA for an open reduction internal fixation that was used to correct the ulnar damage. Did a ton of retracting. I feel like that's like a workout in itself. And for retracting, if you guys don't know, you uh, take uh, different tools and uh, you open up an area for the surgeon to operate on. 
it allows you to better visualize the area and also access different parts of the area more so it takes things out of the way that you want to uh, move from the area you're trying to work on and then it also allows you to to see the area more anyways uh, got out slightly early today since we don't have any more cases and uh, so it was a nice mix of clinic and surgery but right now I'm gonna go head off to the gym hopefully get a squat rack before the crowd comes in so uh, wish me luck so I was able to get in a rack well here I'm you can just see I'm basically trying to pick up in weights I'm not going super heavy I'm in like the low 300s for I was supposed to get three reps I just did an extra rep just because it wasn't like really hard and I was able to get in good depth one thing I was worried was my elbow placement was kind of off so my form issues and my previous hip issues are being worked out right now which is why I had to go in the weights and working on four get your squat and you keep having issues like injuries and things try to just lower the weight focus on form and technique and build weights as you get stronger Okay, so about to head into my fourth day of surgery. This time I'm back on general surgery. I think I'm in clinic in the morning and maybe get a case or two in in the operating room in the afternoon. I have a small presentation also that I have to uh, give to my attending, so let's hope everything goes well. There's also an H&P that I have to do weekly that's due, I think, Thursday afternoon slash maybe night, and I haven't done that yet. I wrote down a bunch of the information though, so I need to try to figure out ways to fit that in, get on the computer and maybe type that up real quick maybe in between cases or uh, if uh, during lunch if I actually get one. So today should be good. Okay, so got out a little bit late today. Today was a pretty busy day. The morning was a bunch of procedures. So today was a lot of the normal things like cysts and lipomas, also muscle biopsy, processing prolonged muscle weakness. There's also an anal fissure which due to things like chronic constipation and tight sphincters. During lunch, there was a breast clinic, so it, there were a couple cases that were introduced and it was a multidisciplinary team in a conference room, it was pretty interesting. And you had the general surgeon, you had some oncologists, you had a couple other doctors and nursing staff and uh, social workers and things like that, and they were all working together on a couple of patients, I think there was like five on the panel, and it was pretty cool to see them go through everything, imaging and different social concerns and things like that. And then afterwards, the rest of the day was seeing a couple of those patients actually in the clinic with the surgeon because it was decided that those patients needed surgery whether it was a mastectomy like a complete one or a lumpectomy tomorrow I'm gonna to be with the hospitalist the surgery hospitalist so I'll have a couple patients after pre round on I haven't pre rounded or been on the floors for surgery yet so this should be interesting new experience just like pre rounding and presenting even so on the floors we did consults, pre-op evals, and post-op follow-ups on things like sudden right upper quadrant pain for possible gallbladder disease, a volvulus or malrotation, intestinal obstructions, things where your guts twist around on itself and need to be cut out or fixed, and different kinds of cancers throughout the body, whether it's in the pancreas or the colon and needs resection or things like that. Next, I had didactics where I was able to video conference in because I was so far away. Pretty much today, we just had like an overview of the surgery clerkship and then going over everyone's H&Ps. There's a good amount of people and then everyone had to submit an H&P this week and actually every week. So we went over them as a class, which is kind of slightly nerve wracking just because a like well one we didn't really know what to expect. We didn't get a lot of guidelines on it before. And then it's a surgeon who's leading the didactics and he's kind of picking different pieces apart a little bit and like grilling you on questions so um, I got a couple questions on things like uh, uh, spagilli and hernia which mine, uh, my case was on and I didn't know all the details so it was kind of um, interesting <laughs> but I guess I'm technically done with the first week of surgery so so yeah super hungry gonna you know protein bars as usual this next week's gonna be intense with like surgery I'm sure they'll probably start expecting more and I'm gonna be on different services like urology and endocrine surgery and vascular surgery and things like that and some of them even on the first day that I met them, they wanted me to uh, read up on different things. So I have a ton of reading from different attendings. I need to try to get through like all those different areas. Okay, so there's these cats in the backyard, two of them, one black and then one, I'm not sure, calico colored. And then I've been trying to pet them for the first two days I was here, but they keep getting scared and running away. So I'm going to try again today. We'll see if they start liking me. The goal is by the end of the surgery rotation to actually have them like me and like just like come to me and to get pet or whatever without them like getting scared and running off or scratching me or anything like that. So uh, let's go try it out.
Hai So during the week I have all these plans for hanging out with friends or doing some fun activities with them. Maybe doing a hobby I really like or even picking up something new and exciting. Maybe even going for a hike or just spending some time to reflect. But in reality, none of this usually ends up happening. What really goes on is lots of catching up and sleep and then basically just normal life stuff. Just trying to be a normal human. guys want to hang out? <laughs> Where are you going, dude? And then it was back to the grind. Okay guys, so uh, I'm on my surgery rotation and I met one, one of the pre-meds who, uh, who's chattering today. Thomas here. Hey, I'm Thomas. And uh, apparently he's he watched one of my shadowing videos. So um, you know, shout out to Thomas for uh, watching my video, and uh, maybe I'll see you guys um, when you're shadowing in the OR too. So uh, yeah, shout out to everyone who watched my videos. Thomas, what uh, kind of surgeon or doctor you gonna be? Um, thinking about becoming a trauma surgeon, hopefully. Okay, so Thomas is gonna be a trauma surgeon, Fallon Med Doc. Maybe I'll refer out to him in the future. Sounds good. <laughs>